excuse me, did you say Jughead and Cheryl? Yes, it could happen. Right. No, it could no, happen. I mean, no, uh, no, Archie and Cheryl for sure. Hey guys, it's Sinead hanging out here at Clever with Riverdale's Madeline Pet, Cheryl Blossom, as we like to call her. I'll give you like a couple names. So okay. least likely, or most likely, sorry, to have killed Jason okay. first, okay? Archie okay. or Jughead? Jughead. Most he's, likely? Yeah, it's most likely. I yeah. think he's just like, he's so cynical and there's so much going on and he's so infatuated with the murder because he's writing that um, novel, mm -hmm, obviously, mm -hmm. that I think maybe he wants something interesting to happen in Riverdale. It's yeah. another really good one. I just came up with that one right now. I love it. I like that one. Yeah, and he's he's also very secretive. Like, he, it doesn't seem like he tries to have secrets, mm -hmm. right? But he is kind of secretive. He's also an outsider and I feel like that makes him feel like a little uncomfortable mm -hmm. and maybe he wanted to just like, the golden boy, you know? Right. Is Cole pretty quiet on set? <laughs> no. <laughs> Cole is the loudest on set. He's very funny. He's like yeah. our class clown on set. Very cool. So mm -hmm. not like Jughead at all. Well, he's extremely intelligent like yeah. Jughead. And so he's got that in common. And he keeps, he broods every once in a while. He's an artist. So he yeah. broods sometimes. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, most likely to have killed Jason again. Let's okay. go to the girls. Betty or Veronica. Well, Veronica just got into town with Betty. Yeah. Right. And you don't think that there's any sort of connection between Veronica and maybe the kids of Riverdale because they just met her. So what if she was all, what if she was there all along? A I lot mean, of people would think that. Mind blown would uh -huh. be an amazing twist. Um, Especially since her mom that. has a tie to it too. You right. Know? In this week's episode, episode six, you find out more about the Cooper family. And so you would probably believe Betty would have done it more than Veronica after this episode. Yeah. Um, and then next week, episode, week's episode, episode seven, is very similar in that regard. So they start kind of leaning heavily on the Cooper side in the next couple of episodes. Very cool, very yeah. cool. All right, so most likely to hook up next, okay? Mm -hmm. So we have Archie mm -hmm. and Cheryl versus Jughead and Cheryl. Excuse me, did you say Jughead and Cheryl? Yes, it could happen. Right. No, it could no. happen. I mean, no, uh, no, Archie and Cheryl for sure. Okay. But Archie wouldn't, I don't think, Archie's too good for Cheryl. He wouldn't pick her. He's also indecisive, like he's kind of an idiot, but yeah. Cheryl, like Cheryl's got her own problems and her demons she's got to deal with before Archie yeah. can tackle that one. Right now it kind of seems like Archie doesn't know who he likes. I think, Ar you know, that's what classic in the comics, he was always so indecisive and he could never pick between Betty and Veronica. I think that's gonna be a common theme yeah. for him in the upcoming season. Right, just when you kind of thought things were over mm -hmm. with him and Veronica, then they had like a weird moment in the hallway. Then he's that hanging continues. out with that girl. Yeah. Oh, man, it's just so crazy because- It's a little frustrating, right? Like I watch, little the, I watch the Archie stuff and I'm like, oh, can you make a decision? They're all beautiful, they're all amazing. Like just pick one and stop toying with them all. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> well, I guess that's like we're, we're used to having like these relationships that we think of all the time when mm -hmm. we think of a show. We're like, oh, it's this and this and this and this. And right. it always makes me think of Gossip Girl and like how you had your core relationships. Right. And like, it always kind of came back to that. Right. But we haven't even established one. I don't think we're gonna be like that. I think our show is, is breaking the mold in that regard. We also try to um, kind of create the female characters as independent women for the yeah. most part. That's really important for the show and for all the writers. So I think we're not gonna be so, reliant upon like relationships romantically. It's gonna be more about the inner workings of the town and like character development. Yeah, and I kinda like that because when you have a murderer on the loose, everyone- It's really good not to trust people. Right, and like you shouldn't be depending on other people. You gotta right. save your own butt, uh -huh. right? Definitely. Definitely. You never know. You could be sleeping with the killer. Yeah, that's so crazy. You yeah. could be sleeping with the killer. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean- I mean, Cheryl's not sleeping with anybody, so she's not sleeping right, with the killer. Right, right, right. Okay, so let's go back to Jason, right? Most likely to have killed Jason, the Coopers. Okay. Or the Blossoms. And I'm talking parents here because they're they're right. all crazy. Uh the Coopers. Yeah. Yeah. I mean they have I'd like to reason. believe Cheryl's parents are wholesome enough to not have destroyed yeah. her life to that level. Yeah. That extreme. That poor girl. No, I know. Shame. She can't catch shame. a break. I am obsessed with my own show. I watch it all the time. Yay, that's awesome. Click left to check out the best TV show crossover episodes or click right for some weird TV show and movie fan theories.